Hello, brothers and sisters of independent voting. You are the game changers of 2020. You are the bridge builders across our country. You are the swing voters that can decide any election. As you all know in the room, 46% of America's voting electorate consider themselves independent. In the great state of Nebraska, where I am the proud Democratic Party chair, independents are the fastest growing voting bloc. As we head into the 2020 election, it is simply not acceptable that close to 26 million independent voters do not have access to vote for a presidential candidate during the primary. As chair of the Nebraska Democratic Party, I was proud to lead the charge to change that rule here in our state. In 2020, independent voters will be able to help decide who the next nominee is for the Democratic Party. And why would we do anything different? Independents get an opportunity to vote for our candidates in the general election, and we need them standing with us shoulder to shoulder in order to win elections. So you should also be able to vote in our primary elections. I made sure that we pushed for other reforms as well to make sure that independents feel welcomed at the Democratic Blue Table. That includes making sure that our candidates are trained to include independent voters in phone and walk lists, and that may seem small, but it is something that too many candidates leave out, which means that independents don't hear our message at the doors. Nebraska is unique. We have a unicameral where in the primary election, regardless of somebody's party affiliation, the top two vote getters move on to the general election. This type of system makes sure that we have a bipartisan system representing the voters and the people of Nebraska. In fact, even in this red state, where Republicans dominate across our state in the federal and statewide elections. We have populist and progressive reforms that are getting voted on. In fact, DREAMers in our state were some of the first in the nation to have access to driver's license, and we made sure that they also had access to in-state college tuition. And I know in 2020, we will finally get past a reform that we've been pushing to make sure that felons, once they serve their time in jail, get their voting rights restored immediately. Everyone in the room tonight wants to make sure that we expand democracy and then we end corruption in politics. I join you in these two goals and you can count on me as an ally to make sure that more states are allowing independents to vote in their primaries. I wanna thank Jackie Salit, the independent voting president and vice president Kathy Stewart who traveled all the way to Nebraska to visit with folks here in our state and even came to my hometown of Hastings, birthplace of Kool-Aid, where we shared a nice coffee, a Blue Moon coffee. I also wanna thank the Eyes on 2020, the activists that have been working tirelessly to make sure that presidential candidates also support opening up primaries to independents. And of course, I wanna thank the other honorees that I could not be with tonight, Adrian Fontes and Davey Fahey. Together, Democrats and independents are changing the political landscape across our state. Let's make sure that we continue to fight shoulder to shoulder so we bring meaning to those words, we the people. Thank you.